All right, and welcome back. Welcome to Good Morning Kenya. Right about now, let's take a look at what we have on our local daily set, of course, being the 27th day of March 2023. I have got three, uh, four newspapers here. Let me start with the front page of the People Daily. On the front, front page of the People Daily, fresh storm over Raila mass action. Fresh storm over Raila mass action. What we have on the front page, there you have it. It said that uh, police warn they will arrest organizers as Raila and Karua dare them to make good the threat. Kindiki warns opposition that um, they will be surcharged for damage to property. Uh, Ruto leaves for Germany, but Nak Kenya says that he will be held responsible. That is what's on the front page of the Star, the People Daily. And of course, still on the front page, high power costs will shock consumers. High power costs will shock consumers. Electricity price review to kick in next month, setting stage for increase in cost of living. Okay, moving on. Uh, police arrest woman over death of three daughters. This happened as uh, detectives now claim that two men poisoned the three children before trying to kill self over domestic squabbles. And now they were engaged, they were aged rather, four years, three years, and six months. The bodies have been moved to Kikuyu Hospital mortuary and according to kikuyu sub-county police commander ron kirui who said that the 29 year old woman attempted to hang herself is in police custody awaiting investigation more functions two counties as agency completes shift uh, it says that framework to address deployment duties held by national government complete and now the long-standing tussle between the county bosses and the national government has dragged on for over 10 years intergovernmental relations technical committee says that it has developed a comprehensive framework that will address deployment plans covering budget resources staff systems facilities, equipment, and machinery, among others. Okay. And on to what is expected today. Police insist protest banned by Azimio vows they will go on. Police insist protests banned, but Azimio vows they will go on. IG Jafet Kome issues warning ahead of today's demos, insisting that they are not approved as Raila digs in. The Inspector General of Police yesterday warned that, this, uh, that his office would arrest anyone taking part in the anti-government protests, including Azimio leader Raila Odinga. However, Azimio Laumoja coalition leaders dismissed the warnings and urged their supporters to turn out in large numbers for the protests. So they maintain that the freedom of assembly picketing, demonstration, and uh, presenting, presenting petitions to public authority is enshrined in Article 37 of the Constitution, and also they pledged to ensure that their supporters and protests are peaceful. And finally, Raila tells, tells of Kome over arrest threats. As a mere coalition leader, urges his supporters to turn up in large numbers for the today's protest of course it's going to be happening for two days a week that is monday and thursday uh raila dared come to keep he to keep to his word and arrest him and other Zimio leaders during today's protests